Hey guys, it's L2 What Are Dukes and I'm back with another video. And today I'm vlogging family day weekend. So I'm about to go to dinner with my fam right now. Um, I actually just came back yesterday from watching the All-Star game, which was, well, it wasn't the game, it was like the competition. But that guy, Mac. <laughs> kind of crazy like his dunks were crazy but today i'm gonna go see my fam catch up with them um we're going to eat at this mexican spot in Vaughn, so i'm gonna try and make a tiktok review but i'll show you guys what i get at the restaurant i'll show you guys the fam and everything um and then after that kind of have to scurry because we're going out for my bestie jazzy's birthday so i have to get ready for that i still haven't even thought about a fit haven't tried it on but yeah but come along with me for the weekend. Okay guys, so I'm home. Just had Mexican, like I don't feel the best, but um, the food was good. As you can see, it was a vibe. Like all my family was just welding out. Like people had the itis so deep they fell asleep at the table at my cousin. But now we're back home. I'm trying to get dressed. So I'm gonna show you guys my options because it really just worked out for me. But okay, so this is the mini skirt that I had from H&M and I knew that I wanted to wear it as a set. So I had to go get a shirt that matched. Tell me why Uniqlo literally had the same exact color. Like, it's a little off, but it's fairly close to the skirt. And this is a men's t-shirt, so I got it in small, I think. So I'm going to just tie this t-shirt, wear it with the skirt, and wear my boots. I think it's a whole look. I'm so excited. I'll show you guys when I put it on. This is the finished look, guys. I'm going to put on my boots, but I have to head out. It's cute or whatever. I'll show you guys the pics once I take them. I'm bringing my film cam in my Bre my Brandon Blackwood bag and I'm gonna pair it with my purple coat. So, it's about to be a look. Final look. Oh gosh, you can't see. So I'm back, as you can see. Um, I just had to hop on here and fill you guys in quickly, looking like a mess. But this weekend was so hectic. I don't even know where the time went. I actually had work today after going out, which was just horrible. But we made it through. We're here. You will not believe what happened to me yesterday. Like. I literally almost lost my whole entire mind like at that club because a girl lost her phone and honestly my heart fell to my ass because I was like I just literally just that same day I saw my dad my dad got a new phone because he wanted an upgrade like we had to go to Rogers this whole thing so he's the one that has our plans on his account he upgraded and he was like, oh, don't, didn't you want to upgrade? Like, now you can just, because he bought out my phone, basically. He was like, oh, now you can just upgrade if you want. 
and I'm like, I am not upgrading to pay a thousand dollars for a phone when I'm used to just paying for it on a discount. Like I'm not doing that until I actually want a new phone that I can afford or this phone breaks or I lose it or whatever. I said that and literally like 10 hours later, I lost my phone and I wanted to throw up like the sequence of events was just so stupid. Like that's why I really didn't vlog much when I got to the club because I didn't have my phone. <laughs> like I was scared. Like I was so scared. But basically after a Mexican, you guys saw like I got dressed, went to my friend's house. So we prayed for her birthday. Then we all got in our cars, drove downtown and met her at the club. But me and my bestie Ray Ann were like, oh, we wore our fits. Like we need a pick. You know me, like I have my film cam. So I was like, yeah, I need a pic in the streets of Toronto. Like it would just be a vibe with my fit. So we're taking pics. I vividly remember putting my phone in my jacket pocket. And then I remember like my jacket was covering my body. Yaddy, so I pushed my jacket back. And I guess, cause I have like photographic proof. Insert pic. This is a picture where I was like, this is why my phone dropped out my pocket. But I like pushed my jacket back and I guess my phone was in that pocket. Then when we were like done taking pics, I put my film cam in my other pocket. So the weight of my film cam made me think that my phone was in my pocket. My phone was not in my pocket. By the time we got to the club, everyone's like, oh, take your phones out to scan the ticket. I go to reach for my phone, my phone is not in my pocket. Everyone's like, oh, you probably put it in your bag. Check my bag, it's not in my bag. I'm like, I dropped it on the floor. In the streets of Toronto, there is a little, like we encountered like three crazy people on the streets, like just gallivanting on the streets while I was walking past to the club. So I was like, any of those people could have just taken my phone. Like, I literally wanted to cry because everyone's like, Lauren, like you left it in the car. I'm like, I know myself. And I don't lose things. Like, unless it actually just like dropped or someone took it from me. Like, I know exactly where my stuff is at all points. So I was like, guys, I put it in my pocket. Like, I know I put it in my pocket. We go back, it's not there. I go and find my iPhone. I can't log in. Then finally I go back to the club, I'm like, Okay, I think I like, I like when I walked up and down the streets. I go back to the club, I'm like, I have to log in to find my iPhone. Like, I know, oh no, I called my phone and my phone was ringing. Like, it wasn't even turned off, my phone was ringing. I'm like, there is a chance I will find my phone. I log in to find my iPhone. The phone is in the club. Like, this is actually so crazy. The phone was in the club. I was like, I told you guys, I brought my phone out of the car. We walked on the street, I walked to the club. And someone took it. Like, someone took my phone. So, finally, go to the front. I'm like, to security. I'm like, do you guys have a phone? Because my phone is in your club. Like, it says it's here. And I don't have a ticket. Like, my ticket's on the phone. And he's like, okay, like, you can go in the club. Find your friends. Like, maybe your friends took it. I was like, yeah, but if my friends took it, they would have called my friend. So, it was like, they didn't take my phone. But whatever. So, I got in the club. We go, and I'm like, guys, my phone is in the club. I look up on my iPhone, it starts moving. I was like, and I was like, I'm gonna go get my phone. My sister's like, no, no, we're gonna find it. Then Rayanne calls my phone, and they pick up. And I literally, like, I was a drunk, and I was like, is this real life? Like, this guy picks up the phone, he's like, hey, 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 I found the phone, I'm here, I'm in the club. And we're like, stop, okay, come meet us. He's like, okay, come to the back, I'll be in the back, I'm working security. I was like, thank you, Lord, like, thank you, Lord. We go to the back, he's like, hey, this is your phone. Like, my phone is my good up phone, like, with my case and everything, he's like, I was like, thank you so much. God bless your soul. Cause I'm like, you don't understand. Like I actually was just gonna cry in this club. Everyone was there for a good time. So I'm like, I can't even like go home. I'm just gonna sit there with no phone, knowing that I have to pay now like a thousand dollars to get a new phone. And that would just irk me cause I just got this phone like a year ago. So I was like, <clears throat> honestly, sir, like you are an angel like thank you so much i'm like you're a great person for giving me back this phone because i was so sad he's like no i'm so glad you got it i was like <laughs> like thank you because that was the worst like 20 minutes probably of my life like i was like i am gonna be dirt broke now like i was so 
sad. Like I was so sad. But I got my phone back. And honestly, I say that to say like there are good people in this world. And if you find someone's stuff, just return it, please. Like it means you don't ever know what somebody's going through. Like also my phone isn't backed up anymore because I have no storage. So if I really lost my phone, it would just be it would be pain. It would be pain for so long. But yeah guys, so then I got my phone, had a ball, like it was a litty time. And then I went home and took a quick nap and then woke up for work. And now we're here. So it's now the end of the day. It's the end of the long weekend. I'm gonna go to the gym because the gym's closing early today. It's closing like two hours. Gym's closing early today and I really wanna get in a workout because I feel like trash. Like I ate so much Mexican food and then oh I ate so much Mexican food. I had bubble tea, then I went out and ate like cake and like crispy cream like oh my gosh like i just ate the worst stuff this weekend so i need and i got drunk so i need to go sweat out the alcohol and get back into shape so we're gonna go do that now so i wanted to give you a good vlog i need to remember to vlog when i go out but this one i credit to the fact that i basically lost my phone so after i got it back i literally stuck it in my purse and that was that like it did not leave my purse because i was just so grateful to have it back that i wasn't gonna let my drunk self just lose it in that club again so yeah next time i'll vlog more for you guys but you guys know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment any video ideas that you have for me down below because I will do them. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.